Welcome to 1000 PS. Welcome to Birmingham Live NEC. We're over at the Triumph stand to see their new range of Tiger 900. So it's going to be a big step for Triumph and a big step for the 900. Um, we're going to catch up with Steve Sargent, who's going to run through the spec and details of this exciting new model. Welcome to the NEC. We've nipped over to the Triumph stand to check out the new Tiger. We've got Steve with us, who's going to give us the lowdown on which it's going to be a huge bike for Triumph for 2024. Yeah, I mean, the Tiger 900 has been a really popular bike for us since it was launched, really. I mean, obviously, it's got that distinctive T-plane crank, different firing order, gives the bike a real character. So all of that is still in the new bike, but we've got a bit more power this time around, a little bit more torque, um, a bit more refinement as well. So we've actually focused on uh, trying to damp out some of the vibrations. So there's a new damping system in the handlebars, for example, yep. just to make the bike feel a little bit more refined. Uh, the seat is all new, so we've uh, flattened out the seat, made it more comfortable. So it really is about taking what was already a really, really good bike and giving it a little bit more refinement and a little bit more performance. Cool. And in terms of the model and specifications we've got, I think, is it four different? We've got the Pro. I'll let you go for it. So we've got, we've got three models. So we've got the, the GT, yeah. uh, and then we've got the GT Pro, and we've got the Rally Pro. So previously, when we first kicked off, we, we had uh, a base rally um, and a base GT and a GT Pro and a Rally Pro. So we've basically, we've lost the standard rally version. Yeah. And the reason for that is basically the guys who are buying that bike just want the top spec. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So over time, it's like, okay, you know, that's what the guys want, then that's what we'll do. And we've got uh, two days in December, I believe. We've got one day on road and one day off road to test the new bike. Yeah, looking forward to that, are you? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Really looking forward to it. Bit of sunshine in December. I'm not going to complain. Yeah, I mean, Tiger 900 launches are always great anyway. And, uh, you know, getting a full day on the road and a full day off road, I mean, you know, that's that's what you need to really appreciate the bike. Yeah. And the old bike was such a good bike, bike, bike as well. So those small improvements, you're going to need two days to feel those improvements. And I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, it's quite surprising that um, we've recently had all of our sales subsidiary managers riding all of the new bikes for next year. And when we first introduced the Tiger 900 to them, it was like, OK, so you've changed this, you've changed that. I'm not sure that I'm going to feel a big difference. After they rode it, they're all like, wow, that, that's really noticeable. And uh, hopefully you guys will feel the same. Cool. Thanks a lot for your time, mate. All really right. appreciate it. Cheers. No problem. See you in December for our holiday. <laughs> Thanks for Steve for all the intel. It's always good to catch up with Steve. I'm going to be riding this bike in December. Really can't wait. I've got two days, one day on road, one day on track, and we'll get the full review. But let us know what you think. Is it a big thumbs up for the new Tiger? Don't forget to click and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed the video.